previous lesson, we learned about plugins. But in this lesson, we're going to be looking at custom menus or how to add menus to our WordPress website. So specifically, this lesson, we're going to be looking at what can menus be used for. And we're going to give you an example, a quick example of how we can actually utilize that. So what are menus very very simply is they're, they're used for organization, right? And so they can either be in your sidebar, header, footer, and there's a number of other ways, but that's kind of the basics of it, right? So now we're just gonna get right into it and show you how exactly to add menu items, right? So the way that we're gonna be doing this is gonna be in appearance, and then you're gonna go to menus. So what exactly can menus be used for? So generally they're used kind of just to distinguish different major categories. For example, we'll look on our main website is um, kind of in this, this is a menu right here. What we kind of categorize here are the major pages that people may use. For example, about page, our videos, our blog, things like that, right? And in this top right here, this is another menu item, but this is more based on different types of post categories right so we remember how we categorize for our own website different types of categories like deals um, travel destinations things like that right so those are major post categories so those are different types of menu items just examples of how you can organize them so the first thing that we want to do is maybe let's try to make just a, a simple menu item of things like the about page uh, the contact page things like that so let's just call this the main menu so we're just going to create a main menu item and we're just going to title main menu and create menu um, and what we want to add here uh, so I guess this me main menu we can't use that uh, exact title so let's just call it menu one right that should be okay all right so this one's okay um, and so what do we want to actually add into this and so we're just going to add our about us page our contact page uh, and probably another thing that we could add is our actual blog page if we wanted to, um, things like that, right? But this is just going to be kind of just a very general menu item, and let's just call. And then we'll save this. Um, and the other thing that we need to do is also figure out where is this going to be located. And so for our website right here, um, this is our actual website. We want it to go right up here, right? So how do we go about doing that? And so our theme is a, a little bit different where that top right space is based on a widget, right? So if we want to add a, a or if we want to make it, make that menu item into that widget, it's going to be in the top header right, right? So in order to add a menu item there, we're just going to add a custom menu. Uh, and we titled it menu one. Um, and we're not going to title it anything. We're just going to save it and see what that looks like. So we refresh our website. We're going to see that we now have an about us and a contact page in the top menu items up there. But now, uh, if we remember in our demo website, we had something something in this area right here. It was based on different categories, right? So I'm going to show you exactly how to add uh, another menu item that's based on categories and, and how to place that in there, right? So what I went ahead and did is I added a couple more posts, right? A couple more posts with a couple different categories. We see uncategorized, uh, we're not going to add the uncategories, cruise deals, coupons, and flight deals. So we're going to add that in, um, and so you can just order this however you want. You can also title it different things. So if we want, um, we just want to call this cruise or something like that. Uh, that's just an example. We can just change the title right there, and we're just going to save it, right? But in this situation, uh, we're going to try to figure out where to put this 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 menu item, right? For our theme, uh, it has two different locations specifically for our theme it has a primary and a secondary and we'll just go ahead and see what each of these are so the first thing we'll do is try it out as the primary and we'll refresh our website and see what it looks like and we see that it's kind of a, a dark uh, charcoal gray banner that goes across it looks kind of nice uh, cruise coupon spike deal so when you click on it it'll be up the category of cruises right the cruise deals so we only have one po post that kind of attributes to that and same thing with coupons and flight deals. So the next thing is, well, what if it is the secondary? I mean, we'll see which one looks better in our situation. Um, and we're just going to refresh it right there. And we'll see what it looks like now. And so it's kind of just a menu item right above it, right? If we, if we select both of them, primary and secondary, we'll see that when we refresh it, it'll just be two of the exact same menus, uh, one on top of another. And in my opinion, I think that this... Um, the primary one is uh, 
much nicer. This this dark charcoal gray one looks much nicer, and so we'll keep that one, right? But you could easily have two different types of menu items, whatever really you wanted to direct your, your readers or your users to, those are probably what you would want to put in the different menu items. So the next thing that I want to show you is that now that we kind of have the basic overview of how we can create new menus um, with pages or categories, the next thing I want to show you is maybe with links, right? And specifically the example that I'm going to give you is, for example, um, on our website, what if we want to add kind of another link that is goes to an external website, maybe it be another website that you own, a partner website, or maybe even a, an affiliate link, right? In our case, the example that I'm going to give is, for example, what if you want them to link to uh, Expedia, where you sign up for the Expedia Affiliate Network Program, right? And I think you get um, a certain cut of whatever it is that your users buy or purchase, whatever it is that they, they want, you get a certain cut of that. So what if you wanted to link to that, right? How would we go about doing that? Okay. And so what I went ahead and did is just got the link to it um, and you just sign up for any, and this is any type of affiliate program that you want, any type of website that you're trying to design. This is just an example for a travel website just to give you kind of the example for it. Um, but say you wanted to make a travel website and you wanted to have this affiliate link or link to whatever it is, um, this is what, how you would do it, right? And so uh, really you can say, out, say whatever you want, uh, whether it be a latest deals or, or anything like that. Um, and let's just say this is a link that you want it to go to. Um, so you just want to add it right there. And so we just use that little links menu bar right there. And when we refresh it, we should see the menu item right here. And when we click on it, we should go to the Expedia website, right? So that's kind of just an example of how you can add additional links or how you can add specifically an example of an affiliate program that you could join uh, for your specific website, right? So those are just all various examples. And so that's kind of very basically how menu items can be added. There's a lot more functionality that you can use it more specifically, um, but these are just kind of more general. And so in this next lesson, what we're going to be looking at is how to add users and potential changing different user roles and why we may want to do that.